From the lobby to the restaurant, nearly every wall here is covered with ceramic tiles. The designs are North African with Middle Eastern roots. You can see similar tiles throughout Algiers, on the city's old post office, in the ancient Kasbah, even on minarets. Throughout Algeria, there are many companies that produce these traditional tiles. This is one of the most famous names in the business, Boumedi, a small family-run ceramics factory east of Algiers. Medi runs the show here. The 59-year-old has dedicated his entire life to this delicate, time-consuming craft. It's work, but this is also an art. There is an artistic side to it because it's about creativity. But making tiles is no easy task. It takes a skilled hand. The first step is finding the right tile. Taufik imports blank ones from Italy, which he says has some of the best clay in the world. Those are coated with a white base. After that dries, the designs are drawn. These are unique to Bumedi, Ottoman-inspired patterns. The tiles are then painted, dipped in glaze, and finally baked in a kiln for half a day. Taufik has 20 employees to get the job done every day. And the newest member of the Boumedi team is 24-year-old Hakim, his son. Ever since I was a little boy, I dreamed of coming here and working with my father. I knew then that I wanted to work here with my family. Hakim moved back to Algiers after finishing university in France. He's his father's apprentice and will eventually take over the company, which is why Hakim shadows his father eagerly. There's a lot to learn and earn. The cheapest tiles sell for just under $2 a square. Art pieces can go for thousands. Hakim's grandfather first opened Bumedi in 1966. He built the company's brand with big commissions at famous sites across Algiers, including hotels like Al Jazeera. What impresses me the most is that we really imposed our style on Algiers. My grandfather's name has spread all around the city. It's everywhere. Hakim has big plans for the future. He wants to expand on some of Boumedi's newer concepts. Not the boss, though. He likes the old ways. If my son tells me tomorrow that he would like to change the business or designs, especially after my whole life's dedication to the craft, I would be sad. I want it to continue. For Hakim, it's not about changing the past, but putting his own unique stamp on the family business. My last name, Boumehdi, is already well known, but my dream is to get my first name known too. Until then, he's happy to sit back, watch and learn from the master. From traditional crafts to modern manga, young Algerians like Akim are inspired by Algiers' rich, complex history and they are determined to move forward. Throughout the city, a revival of the cultural scene is giving them hope that they too might make a name for themselves in the arts.